Uh, what do we have? We have a Fallet. Does not dispense ice or water. No error lights on unit. I do not have a model or serial number. Let's go check it out. So today you guys get a voice over. Walked up on this unit, found this out of order sign. I think I'd already pressed these buttons before. That's why I'm doing it now. So it makes that little uh, circle spinny thing. It's supposed to be dispensing when it does that. It didn't. I removed this front cover and I noticed every single light is illuminated. I don't know what that means. I think at some point in time during this call, I opened up the manual. Didn't have anything. That's just me seeing if there's any ice in there. I didn't expect there to be, but it doesn't hurt to check. Uh, almost immediately, within like five minutes of being there, I got on the phone with uh, Fallet Tech Support. Uh, I don't know if it matters, but they didn't answer. It's I talked to one of the guys. He said something about a snowstorm, which is totally cool. Uh, that's just me showing Fallet Tech Support, their number trying to figure out what the issue is with all of these lights. I know that it's not supposed to be doing that and I had already assumed that it was going to be a bad control board, but I wanted to try a couple different things. This is me messing with the maintenance light, seeing if I put it into maintenance mode or um, press and hold that for 10, 7, 10 seconds. If that changes anything, that didn't change anything. This is me trying to remove or just move a wire uh, without getting shocked so I can get to that reset button. And pressing it wasn't doing anything. I got my lights to flash. I pressed and held it for seven to 10 seconds. I did it a couple different times. I still wasn't getting any, any changes, but I was just trying a bunch of different things to see if it made a difference. The only thing I could get to happen was uh, I could get those lights to flash, but I couldn't get it to, to shut off. Now I'm gonna try to do another reset trick by just unplugging it and then uh, plugging it back in. This uh, dang cord is giving me a hard time. I end up having to use two hands just to unplug it, but uh, ended up getting it unplugged. I did check for voltage as well. I checked uh, to make sure that we were getting 120. You're not really supposed to plug ice machines into an extension cord, but that's what they're doing and, and I understand it. You gotta do what you gotta do. So unplugging it, plugging it back in, didn't change anything. Just uh, kept on doing the same thing. I'm still on hold with tech support. Let's see what what's my time at. Almost 30 minutes of being on hold. I think at some point in time, I just kind of, uh, they, they give you an option to leave your phone number and have them call you back. They ended up calling me back, but it was like four hours later. I just kind of killed time, played with this button, pressed and held it, and called my coworkers to say hi and see how they were doing, see if they saw anything or... Uh, remember anything from previous service calls and so that kind of sucks I thought that I was gonna be able to figure that out I'm under the assumption that it's a bad control board but uh, the bill is gonna be paid by Follett so we kind of have to get on the on the phone with them and tell them what we're seeing and then they tell us what to do even if we kind of already know what we need to do I was on hold with them for almost an hour it sounded like somebody picked up and then hung up immediately that's crap and upsetting so i'm just gonna leave i'm gonna you know tell them to call me back and tell them what i saw and hopefully they can figure it out over the phone just based off what i tell them the reset button didn't do anything the maintenance button didn't do anything unplugging it plugging it back in didn't do anything there's nothing out of the ordinary like wires wise uh control board didn't have any burnt marks it, it was getting proper voltage 
it just it just seemed like it was a bad control board and uh hopefully hopefully they agree and as soon as they call me back i'll let you know what they say I'm doing pretty good, sir. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. What can I do for you, Jeff? Every single light uh, on that control board was lit up. That's basically just the processor going bad, so what we need to get you is a new control board. So, so it is a new control board? Yes, sir. Yes, Easy. Sir. Awesome. And I kind of assume that. So not really the way I wanted to do that, that call, but turns out it was a bad control board for that Fallet uh, 7 Series ice machine. Uh, we're going to get a new control board thrown in and it should be should be good to go so if you ever see all lights illuminated you can't reset it you can't get it out of that state uh unplugging it doesn't work resetting the control board maintenance mode whatever uh tech support told me it was a bad processor on the control board so you just have to replace the whole control board i uh, hope you uh, found this helpful i look forward to seeing you guys next time